Thank you for joining my lecture. Today, I talk about the background of history textbook of anti-Japanese failing of South Korea and pro-Japanese failing of Taiwan. Japan annexed Taiwan in 1895. Japan annexed Korea in 1910. Taiwan in the age under the rule of Japan. Japan's governor general in Taiwan. This building uses as the presidential office even today. Korea in the age under the rule of Japan. Japan's governor general in Korea, this building was demolished as the symbol of Japanese rule. Independences of both nations were brought by the surrender of Japan in World War II. The first president of South Korea, Syngman Lee, had promoted anti-Japanese education Anti-Japanese education became a national policy. Anti-Japanese feeling reflects in history textbooks in South Korea. This photo was posted in a South Korean history textbook as Koreans who were forcibly taken to work by Japan, but actually this photo was Japanese who were abused by a billion and rescued by the police in Hokkaido, published in the Asahika newspaper on September 9, 1926. Presidents who have had anti-Japanese feeling continue back to back in South Korea. Anti-Japanese movements often break out in South Korea. The Kuomintang Party that escaped from mainland China to Taiwan promoted anti-Japanese education too, but they were very corrupt. Taiwanese said, dogs, Japanese left, pigs, Chinese come. February 28th incident. A lot of Taiwanese who were dissatisfied with the Kuomintang Party raised a riot on February 28th, 1947. A lot of Taiwanese were slaughtered by the Kuomintang Party. Li Ten Fui, who was from Taiwan and was educated at Kyoto University, was inaugurated as a leader of the Kuomintang Party in 1988. Chen Sui Bian, who was from Taiwan and a leader of the Democratic Progressive Party, was inaugurated as the president of Taiwan in 2000. Taiwan tries to establish an identity that is different from mainland China as Taiwanese. Being different from past history textbooks, current history textbooks has begun to estimate affirmative aspects, for example, the spread of education and the railway construction, etc. by Japan in Taiwan. The majority of Taiwanese has pro-Japanese feeling.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel to maintain these educational activities. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for joining my lecture.